Hey, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, today is Saturday, June 4th, 2016. And it's a little bit after noon. To admit, I've been uh, dozing off a little bit here and there. Lay down. Got up earlier and then uh, had to run out. And came back home and laid down just for a minute and started dozing off. I think the work week caught up with me a little bit. I'm a little, a little drowsy, at least when I'm... I'm sitting down doing nothing, which is why when I get done with this, I'm going to um, get outside and get a little bit of work done around the house. Um, it looks like it's been raining off and on overnight, um, but hopefully any more will hold off for a little while. And of course, it makes sense that it would be raining this weekend because if you happen to be in the area and you didn't know, um, by area I mean like Miami County here in in the Ohio, um, suburbal Dayton area, which would be like Troy, Piqua, Tip City, we're all kind of suburbs of Dayton anymore. Um, but Troy Strawberry Festival is going on. So, and everybody knows, anybody from around this area knows, hey, Strawberry Festival, it's going to rain. It always does. Every damn time. At least one of the two days, it's going to have rain. Um, so it's today. Hopefully, maybe tomorrow will, will be even better. Um, but I myself, I probably won't go to the Strawberry Festival. Uh, I don't really like how they do the the format now. They used to have it just on the levee, and they used to have a, a parade. You know, I love a parade. I used to look forward to getting up, going Saturday mornings, stop through Tim Hortons, get some donuts, maybe a nice coffee or something, or maybe even a hot coffee, depending on how cool it was going to be in the morning. Okay, go down with your lawn chairs, pick a good spot. We used to sit like right in front of the courthouse. Me and, you know, I, my, my parents used to go all the time, too. And, you know, I'd sit with them. Aunt, uncle, you know, we'd, we'd get a bunch of the family there. And we'd sit there and we'd enjoy the Strawberry Festival Parade. It was like two hours of parade. I don't do that anymore. It kind of sucks. Um, I mean, the, the festival itself is probably still good like, as far as the stands and the food and stuff like that. I just, I don't like, because now they have, they have some of it downtown. Which really bites because a lot of the business owners down there, they don't like it because of the way it's set up. They don't get people, more traffic coming into their businesses because of it. They actually get less because they have all these other stands set up in front of their shops. Uh, you know, they should just, you know, moving back to the levee. You know, the, the reason they did that originally was because they were doing a bunch of work on the, I believe it's the Adam Street Bridge over there by the levee. And they thought it would be too hard for traffic to get to the levee, to the festival, without that road being open. Well, now they just decided to keep doing it this way. It's stupid. So, that's why I don't go. Screw it. I'll stay home. Yeah. I'll stay home, get stuff out of here, and enjoy my Saturday. But, right now, today, I got my new uh, comic block. So... Let's see what we got. I, I don't remember. I want to say this might have something with Deadpool in it. Outside of that, I don't remember. You know me. I don't remember shit. Um, but we'll find out. Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. Could be way off. Alright, let's see. I feel there's a shirt. There's always a shirt. We'll go to the shirt first. I want to buy more hangers. These boxes, I keep getting shirts in. Alright. In tune with the new movie that's coming out. Love them or hate them. The new X-Men movie. There we go. Apocalypse. That's a pretty cool shirt. I like it. I like the design. Um, it's really simple. I like the, the writing, the way it says Apocalypse. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Apocalypse Now um, title on it. And of course, this is, as always, this was done by um, shirtpunch.com. Um, they change their designs they have every 24 hours, so go check them out. Uh, most likely they don't have that design on there because that was probably from, you know, a while ago. Uh, it takes a week or so for this thing to ship to me. Uh, next, I got two big boxes in here. That's always a good sign. So let's start with do we want the more square box or do we want the longer box? 
Let's, let's go with the square box first. We've got a Dorbs figure from Batman, and that would be the Penguin. Batman Series 1 is what it's from. It is the Penguin. It's the back. Cool. They've been putting more of these in boxes now instead of the uh, regular uh, Funko Pop figures. Um, which is cool. I mean, they look, they're, they're very different looking. You can definitely see the uh, kind of the, the, the Japanese inspired design of the figures and, um, you know they remind me of like um, you know like anime and they got more of an anime look to them um, as far as they were all like, like, like cartoony look to them um, yeah they got quite a few different ones in this this figure line for Batman Series 1. Go ahead. There you go. Forbes. Okay. Alright, next. we got we got a big box here. I'm not sure what this is. It's big. It's, big. it's kind of heavy. Wow. Would you look at that. This is something new. Look at that. Can you see it? I can't. Okay, there we go. Vendors Age of Ultron Mini Wacky Wobbler Bobbleheads. And we've got. I'm gonna drop them. Now they're in the thing, so you can't see them wobble. But Iron Man, Captain America, the Hulk, and Thor. Um, not really sure whether those are the only four you can get in sets. I, I would guess they probably have have other ones too. Since there are a number of other Avengers in that movie. But of course, this was by Funko, too. Um, Got to give a big shout out to Funko. I wasn't aware of Funko toys until I started getting these boxes. Um, actually, the first box I got was a box of Dread. And the first one I got had a, a Funko Pop vinyl in it. And I have to say I'm very impressed. I'm, I'm impressed with the number of licenses that they have. I mean, pretty much anything you can think of, they have, Funko has something for them. And, and their quality. I mean, their quality. And they're made with a large breadth of people that would be interested in getting from people, you know, like me, like geek, big old geeks like me, to the hardcore collectibles, to even, you know, kids. Kids, because they are made to where you know they can be taken out and they can pl be played with just like you, you would, you know, uh, other figures. Um, so I mean, it, it's, it's really genius. It is, and they're they're very quality made. They're very good sculpts, very detailed. Um, very impressed with Funko. All right, that's the little card that talks about everything. We'll look at that in a minute. And then we got a couple of comics. And then we got the little card that shows like what's coming next month. We'll look at that in a minute. I think that's everything that's in there. Yeah. Alright. We got a comic here. Tank Girl. Two girls, one tank. I admit, I think I've only, I don't, I think I only have one other Tank Girl comic. I think I have to look. I might not even have another one. Um, this is issue one from Titan Comics. So it's suggested for mature readers. I'm glad I grew up a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm gonna scrub completely. I mean, you gotta stay young. You gotta enjoy stuff. You got one of these things with it again, thirty-five dollars off the uh, Hello Fresh thing. And I've looked at it. Just yeah, I'm old-fashioned. I just you know, I'll go to the store, buy stuff at the store. 
a lot of times I kind of think on the fly of, you know, what do I want? And then we have this one. This is the Punisher. This is, as you can see up here, it's got the comic block logo on it. So this is a variant cover. And it says zero, number 001 variant edition of the Punisher. I'm glad to see it like this. This version of the Punisher actually has the big skull on his shirt. I've seen some some versions of Punisher uh, that didn't have that. And to me, that was always like one of the big iconic things of the Punisher was the big skull. So, glad to see it, it has that on it. Um, Overall, not a bad box, really. I mean, the Dorbs figures, the wobble heads, shirt, two comics. Not bad. All right, next month. Next month is going to have an exclusive item from the Punisher. And it's going to have an exclusive items from Spider Gwen and Ultimate Spider Man. And then it says also this month will include four exclusives. So and the thing is, I've also heard that occasionally they get like the, the, the Dorbs figures. Or Funko or stuff that they work with Funko and actually get exclusive little figures or exclusive toys done up just for comic book. Now I don't know whether that one is or not. We'll find out and get ready to reveal the big card here. But um, that's pretty cool too. Okay, comic block presenting the May issue, which is the thirteenth. 013, I'm guessing that means this is the 13th comic block that they've done, maybe? Okay, we've got the Wacky Wobbler Avengers 2 Mini Wobbler 4-Pack. Avengers Assemble. Start preparing your team for the next time you have a disagreement. Use these Mini Wobblers to reenact any Marvel Cinematic Universe film in your personal space or to remind you of the value of teamwork. We have Dwarves Batman Penguin. It's the perfect time to start or grow your super villain collection. Show the villain love with this penguin. Dorbs. Now you just need to partner up with the Joker and Catwoman so that the terrorizing trio will be on the rampage again. We have Tank Girl number one. The variant cover. Oh. It is a variant cover. But it didn't say variant cover on it, so I didn't think it was. But no, it says a variant cover. Exclusive to Comic Block. She's back. Our favorite tank driving bounty hunter arrives in this month's Comic Block with a variant cover. Follow her adventures with Booga, a mutant kangaroo through a post apocalyptic Australia. Australia. Punisher number one variant cover when daredevil hits them they get back up when he hits them when he hits them they stay down When daredevil hits them they get back up when he hits them they stay down referring to the he as the Punisher Learn how Frank Castle enters into his new war zone Hell's Kitchen to start his crusade on organized crime and why he becomes known as the Punisher And then we had the Shirt Punch, shirtpunch.com. T-shirt, X-Men Apocalypse. We know when something has this level of intensity that is bound to make you feel invincible. Just remember you are not Apocalypse. You unfortunately don't possess mutant abilities and trying to end humanity is not a good idea. And that was an exclusive. So the three exclusives that we actually had in this comic block were the two comics and the Shirt Punch shirt. So, uh, there it is. 
That's it. That's everything for Cotton Block for May. Um, if you enjoyed it, you're interested, you'd like to get stuff like this yourself, then go to nerdblock.com, click on the little uh, Comic Block icon. It'll take you to the Comic Block page where you can sign up. And I believe I read something about it. I haven't really looked at the details on it now, but uh, I got a, an email the other day that I kind of just scanned over, and it looks like they're doing something new to where... Let's say, with like Comic Block, let's say with the little preview thing, they got something coming. I mean, I love comics, so pretty much anything they put in I want to like. But, hypothetically, let's look out, outside the box for a minute. Let's say coming up in the next month, it had some stuff that I just, it wasn't really my thing. I didn't really get into that, that license or that franchise. I wish I could get something different. Well, uh, supposedly they're going to be doing something now to where you can actually change which box you get. I think it's just like a, you know, I don't know whether it's like every month you can switch it up or whether it's just once every so often you can do it. But the way I sound, it just, like I said, I didn't go look into details or anything, but it sounds like you can go on to your account on page and say, okay, you know what, this next month I don't want comic block, I want horror block. Or I want to get sci-fi block this month. Um, switch it up, okay, the next month they send you that that other box instead of yours for, for the same price which I, I believe they're they're all the same price now um, it used to be comic block was cheaper because they only had like you know the t-shirt one little item and then the comics in it and now they bumped it up to have these other things so it's instead of $13.99 it's $19.99 plus shipping but yeah I think you know you can switch out which one you want it does it for that month, and then it goes back to you getting the one that you're actually subscribed to. Um, so if you really want to mix it up, I guess, you know, if you decide, you know what, regardless of what they have in it, I'm just, for the next few months, I want to try the other boxes and see if there's all the ones I want to subscribe to. You could get the sci-fi block, then the next month get the horror block, and then get the classic block, and then eventually get back to, you know, whatever one you're subscribed to. So I think that's pretty cool. They're, they keep doing more and more things to... Uh, get more people um, interested in these boxes and uh, I think it's working uh, so like I said dirtblock.com go check it out also again for for t-shirts you know quality shirts go to shirtpunch.com uh, this is just your average Joe that was the comic block unboxing for May um, even though it's June we're not open it it's the actual box from May uh, like I said, it takes about a week to get here for shipping. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked the video. Hope you like me.